Hey, welcome to this morning's morning sprint, getting our day started off with purpose, passion, and meaning. Jesse Dale here. Thank you for inviting me into your hearts and into your heads. So today we are teaching you to be a fortune teller. You can predict the future. I am not even joking. No hocus pocus here. <laughs> okay, so how can we predict the future? Well, let's look at a few elements of our life. Say that I want to have more energy. I want to see a future of more energy and less body fat and better health, let's just say. So I start to exercise. I will literally, taking that action, will build that future irrefutably. Irrefutably. Beautifully. So if I want more energy, I want to predict a future of better self-love or what I, I love what I see in the mirror, then I'm going to go and exercise and eat correctly. Number two, if we want to predict, hey, the divorce rate's 50%, some people say, you know, give it plus or minus. If I want to predict a great marital life, guess what? marriage counseling and marriage retreats. Have you ever seen a couple that's like, you You know they're on the verge, you know, you know, and they're like, hey, we just got back from marital counseling. We just got back from a marriage retreat. No. So it works in the inverse too. If you want to see failing marriage, hang around people or, or look into your crystal ball and see people that never do marriage counseling, never do marriage workshops or anything. They don't work on the marriage. So if we want the marriage to work, we attend counseling. We attend marriage workshops. We read little um, books. My wife and I like to read marriage books, 30 days type things and like devotional books. Number three, you want to predict a better financial health. Plug in, open and plug into a plan B. Within a year, your financial health will be much better than it is today. Much better. Okay. It, it may be in a year, like Warrior Fit Nutrition is a, a company we work with in a year. Their finance, their plan B was their plan A. That's how profound it was. Wow. They must have had a crystal ball when they said, yes, let's do this. Number four, say you want to be more wise. You're like, oh man, that person, they always know the right thing to say or whatnot. You want to predict that future? Start listening to podcasts. Plug into your network. Plug into your coaches. If you're a macromillionaire, of course, plug into our network. Reading that will then give you that wisdom that you are seeking. You'll literally be able to predict the future. And then say you just want to level up or you're like, man, Susie and Bill, man, they just seem to have it down and they got it down. Yes, probably because they do the first four things. So be a person of value and friend them, okay? Hang around those people and they will level you up. So be around those that you want to emulate, the f that have the, say that they're your future. They're like, wow, I'd love to have a marriage like them or a relationship like them or a business like them. Start friending those people. Be deliberate with that. Those are our top five tips on how you can become Nostradamus and predict your future.